Yeah. Hey, well, hey welcome with the uh, Top Recruits Now, uh, uh, our podcast. We want to thank Athlete Advantage for uh, helping to sponsor. Uh, so I'm here once again with another uh, Top Recruit from Edgewater High School. Uh, so they have quite a few guys on the team. I expect a lot out of them. So I'm here today with my boy Josh Alexander, who I've known since he was a little, little kid. Uh, twin is what we call him. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I, uh, tell the people, man, uh, you probably don't remember this. I remember it. You used to go to AJ You when y'all was little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember and, that. And uh, you was, you know, it was you and your twin. And then, so I hadn't seen you in years. Because, yeah. like, you know, I hadn't been out there. And then next thing I know, I see this dude and he over there and, and it's you and your brother. And I'm like, man, what's the odds of that? And now you ain't you ain't so little no more. Cause you know, I still look at you as that little little kid back then, but I'm proud of you. Tell the people what school you go to, man, and what position you play now. Uh my name is Josh Alexander. Uh I go to Edgewater High School. Um I'm a strong side DN. Uh, I could play a little bit of tackle too. Very versatile. So uh how much you how tall are you? How much you weigh? Um my height is at six four. Um, my weight is two fifty. Yeah, you, you measured it 6'4", because we stood back-to-back. So, you know, you really are legit 6'4". All right, tell the people where you're from. You know, in the, you know, I know I know where you're from, but tell the people where you're from. Uh, I'm from Orlando, Florida. Uh, I'm originally from Pine Hills, but I didn't live everywhere. So, around the whole Florida, Orlando. So, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm familiar with everywhere. Name it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So, tell me this. So, that means you probably them grew up and played with a lot of these guys. Like, a lot. you know, no, when they were young. So, uh, what new team did you play for? My youth? I played for Pioneer Church. I played with uh, uh, Brandon Jacobs. Okay. That was my boy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. So, uh, tell tell the people who inspired you. Like, you know, uh, they don't have to be necessarily, you know, a football person because I'm going to ask you that, but who inspires you? Uh, really, my family, my younger siblings, my twin, uh, my younger brother, my younger sister. They yeah, inspired me. I know you and Twin are tight. Like, yeah. I know y'all boys is real tight, which is good. Nice. You know, yeah. Yeah, y'all boys got a bond, so that's a good thing. Uh, let me ask you this. What is your why? Now, you play football, and what is your why? Like, like that's going to carry you for the rest of your life. This is why Josh does what he does. Family. My auntie. I wear everybody on my sleeve. Like, them really my family. I really doing this for them. Like, for real. That's good. That's So I can give it right back to them. Like, I don't I don't owe them nothing, but I feel like it's my job for me to like, yeah, well, take care of them. Nothing wrong with that. That's the way it's supposed to be. So, uh, with that being said, I guess we got fifty percent off Domino's at, at, at our event. So we do like Domino's pizza. So Domino's, I guess you gonna have to be a sponsor now. That that's my cameraman's mistake, but that's another story. Uh, Noob, I got another frat brother in the house. You might have to go get that wood to haze. No, we're, we're, we're cap up aside. We're non hazing no, my, my, my bad. My bad. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, man, who's recruiting you so far? I know your recruitment was kind of slow. I know you were ranked like the top player in the area, but I know it's been picking up. So, who's who's starting to recruit you? Uh, University of Central Florida, as you guys know, we got Pitt, Cincinnati, uh, NC State, Vanderbilt, my first SEC offer. Uh, we have Illinois. I have a lot of schools. I'm sorry if I ain't mentioned them. But. That's it, man. Hey, it's a lot to remember. But uh, with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back with some of the letters. Is there any school that you would like to consider? Like you would like them to offer you uh, to you know check out your game? Uh, I do Florida. I'm I'm from the crib, so I I do University of Florida. It it won't it won't hurt to uh, get recruited by them. I love to actually. So okay. well, I respect that. So uh, with that being said. Uh, and this is what I always ask anybody: Who's the best person you played against so far? Like we could be, like, uh, like I'm talking about from another team, like that you played against. Yeah, I got you. Uh, I say, Kyle Williams, our first game, Don Bosco. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, that yeah. big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like to be yeah. honest, yeah, yeah. yeah talking about, yeah, he was nice. Yeah, I got him. Where, 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 where did him going? I'm not sure, but that boy, he was nice. Yeah, boy, Texas ain't no. He was nice. Now, I do agree with you. Yeah, he was nice. I, he was like, what, six, seven? But that's what let me know you was a baller. Yeah. Because remember, we were talking I still early. played through it. I, I right. kicked this. What? We won. Right. So That's what let me know you was a baller. We had that conversation before we got online. I judge you by how you play against other elite players. Anybody can do anything against a scrub. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just like if I'm playing in basketball, it's no competition. You know, I could just, you know, just shoot. Bah, 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 bah. I'm up 15-2. 
But if you know, but if you playing me in football, you probably gonna win because I I can't yeah. even get off I can't even get off the off the line, you know. But you already by me, just steady sacking the man. But you but y'all had a good battle, man. I, and I think that uh, I would I would advise any coach to go look at that film because that's what made me realize like man, Josh Josh pretty good, real talk. Because I knew he was good, so that like I'm glad you mentioned that because I forgot about that. Uh, so uh, you know, is there anybody like in college or the pros that you look at and you pattern your game after? So I watch a lot of D line, D lineman film from from the big leagues, the NFL. But there's one specific person that stands out. It's Aaron Donald. His hands and his feet, his like the coordination, they go hand in hand. Like he moves like a well oiled machine. So it's like every before probably like every game I watch him, he get me hyped up, and I go in with that mindset that nobody can stop me. Yeah, that's amazing because uh, my next question is gonna be: You played in the Legends game. Uh, in the Legends game, we had. You know, four pretty good defensive line. I think our that that might be y'all's D line is probably second behind Tyler Norrell, Mario Kendrick. That was a hell of a D line too. But uh, first of all, how many sacks did you have in the game? I got to get that out. Well, I had two sacks. Right, and and the D line was definitely very dominant. Yeah. Um, uh, and you had Sincere on the line, DeAndre. Uh, you know, and I asked uh, Sincere, you know, like y'all all the boys, and, and I know y'all boys. We all together. So, uh, and, and, and you know, you're going to be humble because that's who you are. But, you know, because I know who you are. But if I had to rank y'all, who would you say is the best player in the field? You're going to be humble. I know you ain't. Out of, out of all three of us? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it buck. All right. So, I'm going to rank myself, of course, as the, uh, the number you. one. Thank you. Because, like, I feel like I got what they don't have, like the motor, the potential, I mean, not just the size, but I just got that heart, that dog in me, that I'm gonna just go harder than them. I'm no disrespect though. They're my boys. They got they got some traits and some things they could do themselves, but I just feel like as me, as a person, as a human being, I feel like I got that in me. Well, you know what, man? I'm gonna tell you right now. That's the kind of I'm about to cuss on my my pocket. That's the kind of stuff I want to hear. As a dog, man, you know it don't mean there's no disrespect to your boys. But you a dog at all times. Sure. So I'm going to get you a certified dog shirt just because of that. Because that's how your brain, brain got to think. Sure. Like when you walk in the room, you the top dog. So I really appreciate you thinking like that. So Let's coaches want to know that. Because you know, because you go off to college, guess what? You don't have to have that mentality to take somebody's spot. Like you no. you can't be like, oh, he's good. No, man. If he is good, Never I got to get better than him. Right. Yeah. If he is good, I got to get better than him. That's the only way it's going to work. So, man. I'm very proud of you for that. All right, man. So what did you take away from the Legends game? You know, because you had to go up against some other guys. What yeah, did you take away it was from? a lot of talent. Uh, well, we, we played on the East. I yep. was on the East team. Yep, yep. Uh, the West, they had a lot of uh, talent, like O-line-wise, skill, size. Uh, I was really playing, like, across the whole board, so I got a little bit of everything. But I'm going to really give a shout-out to the tackle. I forgot his name. Yeah, he was good. He was pretty good. He, pretty he gave good. me a pretty good fight. But, you know... Ain't nothing wrong with a little work, you know. That boy's work, and yeah. so any coach that want to get that film, reach out to me at uh, AG Wasim or at, at iCloud, or reach out to the Legends Game Football. We'll definitely get that film to you. Uh, also, you came on the bus trip, and uh, you had good experience on the bus trip. You picked up offers and all that other stuff. Tell people a little bit about what you learned from the bus trip, you know, and especially, you know, you got to deal with coaches. Did you, did you, you know, you ain't got to say no names, but were there some schools that went up on your radar and some schools that went down because of what you saw on the bus trip? Um, Georgia Tech. I never been there. Uh, when I was probably like, I was a sophomore. I was getting recruited by Coach Coleman. Correct. Uh, the D-line coach. Uh, he got a... Uh, Marco he, Coleman. Marco Coleman, uh, NFL, uh, rookie of the year, first round draft pick. That's what he's talking about. Go ahead. Um... He left Georgia Tech uh, my 10th grade year, my sophomore year. Uh, he went out to Michigan State. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, we went to Georgia Tech. He, I seen him back at Georgia Tech. So it was, like, it's really, like, the stability. Because I, I didn't I didn't get this light. I didn't know I was going to get in contact with him. He was going to be back at Georgia Tech. And then I received the offer. I was like, yeah, I got to see. That's, like, red flag. Because I don't, what if he, he says he's not going to leave. But what if I, I don't know that? And we talked about that, and and uh, that the reality is he didn't. He probably didn't want to leave the first time. He probably did uh, because. Uh, but we talked about 
the coach is leaving. And that's one thing I, I talked to you, Kai, all y'all guys, is make sure you go to a school that you're comfortable with. Yes, sir. Because those guys, I don't think that, you know, Marco, he's he in the Hall of Fame. He went there. His house is there. Yeah. He don't want to leave. I'm telling you that now. Yeah, he told and, me. And I doubt very seriously uh, with the new coaching staff that he would leave before you had four years in. Because they're going to give they gonna give a coach four years. You know, no disrespect to anybody watching, but a white coach going to get four years. Black coach, he going to get two to three. That's just being real. So he would be there at least, you know, through your junior year. It, you know, but uh, but like I tell all y'all, y'all got to like the school that you're going to and the city that you'll be living in. Got to be comfortable. Because the coaches may change, you know. It's just unfortunate, you know. But you got to be comfortable with all these guys. Were there any schools that when you w went to on a trip that you was like, damn, that's nice. Like you weren't expecting that them to look like that. I'm going to say University of Alabama, Alabama, Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, it's a little small school, but when we went there, them boys went to work. Yeah. Went to work. I agree. They were very, like, you got to give them credit. It was a very nice school. Yeah. I think they treated you guys well. They offered you when we was on the bus, They right? did. Yeah. Uh, I think they treated everybody well. They they Communication's on point. Mm hmm Like, communication. They ran, they, and that's, that's going to be big for you in the recruitment process. Yeah. Coaches were still talking to me during practice. Right. Uh, they had their little group going on workout. He still was communicating with us, me, DeAndre, and Sincere. So, yeah. now I like I tell people I think UAB is a sleeping giant, uh, because they have money, and now they got a great coach. You know, their coaches, you know, Trent Dilfer. You know, they have good coaches on their staff that came from like Ohio State and other major schools. So I expect a lot of those guys. Uh, that being said, uh, you you play in Edgewater. Uh, same that I asked Kai. Y'all have a, a great program, one of the top five programs in the city. Uh, I know that you're close with, you know, Sayed, you know, because I know Sayed very well. Has Sayed given you any advice through this recruiting process that you just went through it last year? As soon as he touched down in Texas, he told me what it is. He said it's nothing to play with. So have fun while you're in um, high school because when you get to college, it's serious. It's straight business. Yeah. All business. I mean, he said it's straight, straight to that grind. Yeah, because, you know, you got to bring these guys' jobs rely on you. So like they're not like if, if you go up there and you BSing, then they their their family doesn't need. Mm -hmm. So they gonna go with the guy who who ain't playing around. So yeah, so I I know that you're gonna get more offers coming in. Uh, you know, they definitely you gonna definitely get more offers. Stuff is gonna be able to go. Uh, where are you ranked right now? Uh, I know that the, the new rankings came out today, off of a two four seven. Where they have you ranked? I just looked at it a few seconds ago. I'm not sure. It was a kind of a blur. Okay, well, hey, Kai in the building. Kai, where, where, where is your rank? Yeah, see, that's the beautiful yeah. thing about having them, them water boys. Yeah. The water boys in the house. Got my back. Did, did, did uh, Chris, did you get a chance to talk to Chris while you were on the bus? Uh, I did. What are you talking about? Chris Larry. Uh, he just uh, told me what it was. He said, uh, you know how you went to Alabama. He said, don't choose uh, the school because of the name or the brand or the logo. He said, go with your, like, your heart really, truly desires. Because, like, a couple of years back then, they didn't have the NIL where it was where your heart would go, where the coaches, the communication, how you feel about them. So, I think that that's why I'm glad you brought that up. I think that's a mistake a lot of y'all generation is going to do. They're going to go to schools just for the NIL deal. For the money. And, and you can't do that. You got to go to the school that you want to get to because the reality of it is the thing with NIL now is if you, if you get up there and you don't play, then your NIL deal is going to be gone anyway. So you know, so you need to you need to be balling because the, the, if you ball, they're gonna pay you. If you don't, they're not. It's just that simple. Kyle, what we got? One hundred thirty-one in Florida, eighty-nine. Hey, that's good, man. You one thirty-one. So that means you know we we trying to get all y'all. We got to bring that up, though. Yeah, we trying to get y'all all y'all boys in the top one hundred. Yeah, you know it's gonna happen, and then you know all they're gonna take is when you know me and you already talked. We gonna, I'm gonna have to get you to Bama. Uh, that's why we took the picture next to each other. Sure. Because Rob G want to see how tall you were. So uh, you know, so hey, uh, so I expect a lot out of you know, you know, you're one of my favorite kids. You got on I get you, you end up some kind of way finessing yourself into Yeah, yeah, you know I had to. <laughs> sweatsuit, but I'm I'm glad you got it. You know, uh, you know, you definitely, you know, one of my kids, you know, that I care about for certain. So uh tell the people, if you could have dinner with one person, live or dead, who would it be and why? Well, Auntie. I'd do anything to bring that lady back. Just to tell her how my life been going. I ain't speak to her in so long. So I'm gonna just tell her, get her to run down to everything. My girlfriend, shit, everything. My ups, my downs. 
I'm gonna tell that lady the whole thing, whole nine. So yeah. Yeah. With that being said, I I definitely feel you on that because uh, my mother tomorrow she'll be she will have been dead seventeen years. So uh, tomorrow will be seventeen years. So I I would give anything to be with my mama and just to tell her I love her and let her know about her kids and grandkids and all that kind of stuff. That's so I feel you on that. So hey. I, I get it. So, hey, it's always a pleasure to see my dog, man. I expect big things out of you. Sure. You know, when you go off to school, if you mess up, I'm going to be there to put my foot in your behind. No uh, doubt. But, you know, I, I, I do love you, man, and you're a good kid. So stay that way, all right? Yes, sir. All right, boy. Peace. Peace. Yeah.